There's something new in Photoshop that's gonna absolutely change the color grading preset scene. And this new feature is inside of adjustment presets. If you don't already know what adjustment presets are, let me share with you. Open up the adjustments panel if you don't already have it open by going to window and adjustments. Now inside of this, let's first of all stick it right in here. In the newer versions of Photoshop, you will find adjustments presets. If you want to see more of it, click on more. For this example, let's say I want to do some cinematic color grading and you can hover through these presets to see what they create. Let's say I like this split tone or I like this blue mood. Let's click on it. This is fantastic. Now what adjustment preset is, is that it's a single or a group of adjustment clubbed together to create a preset. That's all. You can have a group of one adjustment layer or a dozen adjustment layers. We're going to get to all of that later and that's a part of the new feature. Anyway, let's say you like this and you can stack up different adjustment presets. So let's say we go back right in there, we scroll up, maybe we want something warm to go on top. Let's go with sunshine. As you can see with this preset, we just have one layer. And let's say we just wanted it on the face and only in the bright areas. You can modify this as well. Let's say we double click on the right hand side of this layer and we take it away from the dark areas by taking the slider of the underlying layer from left to right. Something like this. Now hold the Alt key or the Option key, click on the slider to break it apart and make the transition smoother. Hit OK. Now you can select the mask, press Ctrl or Command I to invert the mask, take the brush and only paint with white over her face for that little warmth. You can even take it a bit further by double clicking right here and modifying it slightly like this. Go to the blues and taking it down even more. So. It's all modifiable, it's all adjustable, and that is the USP of adjustment presets. And even on top of that, we might take it a step further. Let's close this group and let us apply a color pop. Why not? There you have it. That is an interesting moody color grade. And again, you can just group all of these, select the first one, hold the shift key, select the last one, control or command G and then decrease the overall opacity of all of these. I'm just gonna keep it at about 78 and that gives a nice grade. So those are adjustment presets. Now that is not what's new here. What's new here is that you can create your own adjustment presets. And the coolest part is you can create them, you can export them, you can share them. That's crazy. And I have a gift for you, very small gift for you towards the end of the lesson. So here is a color grading that I did very simple and I've added a lot of adjustment layers. First I've added some curves then color lookup. Let me take you through it. So here's the before and here is the after. It may be a bit heavy handed but that's for a reason so that we can decrease the overall opacity later. So here's the before. We applied some curves, a couple of color lookups one after the other, then selective color, then hue saturation to take away the excess saturation. And how do we create an adjustment preset out of this? Simple. Select the first adjustment, hold the shift key, select the last adjustment, select all the adjustments that you want to keep as a part of the preset. Open up the adjustments panel and you can go back if you don't see the create presets section. So back to view all if you don't already see it and in here you will find your presets. Let's click on plus right here and let's name this one picks punch. Now it is already giving you that information warning that this will only include adjustment layers and nothing else. Now let's click on save. So here we have our big sponge preset. So even if we delete all of this, first of all have all of them selected and let's drag it and drop it into the trash can. Now let's apply big sponge and even if you hover over it, you're going to see the result in real time. Let's click on it. Once you do, the big sponge group will be created and inside of that, all of those exact adjustment layers are going to show up. And you can now decrease the overall opacity to your liking. Again, 78, nice number, looks fantastic. Now let's create a preset from scratch from creation to export and even import. So here we have an image and let's start with an incredible plugin that I use to copy the color grading from any image. Now again, you don't have to use any of this. This is something that I highly, highly recommend. Let's go to filter, retouch for me and retouch for me color match. 
Now, you can try this absolutely for free and we have made a video about it right here. You can use it to copy the color grading from any movie scene, any other image, any painting and it does a fantastic job and the best part is it does export a lot for it. So in here, this is our image. We can load any reference. Let's click on load reference. This can be anything, a clip from a movie, a photo that you like or any of your previous works where you love the colors. So let's click on this one. I'm going to use this image as a reference and click on open. And as soon as we open it, instantly, it copies the color, takes the color from this one. Now you can match the luminance as much as you want. You can match the colors as much as you want. So I'm going to keep it this way. And smoothing is the blending of different colors in different areas. Again, if you want to learn it in more detail, there is a video about it, which you can watch later. So let's decrease the smoothing a bit. And I like this. If I hit apply, it's going to burn it to the image. We don't want that. We just want to export the LUT so that it can be a part of the adjustment preset. So let's click on export LUT and we're just going to name it PIX MIDDAY. Hit save. And it's exported. You can hit cancel if you wish. Do try out Retouch For Me Color Match and I think there's a sale going on. So check the link in description for all the details. I will also include a promo code for the highest discount no matter what the time is. So check that out. Now let's apply a color lookup table to bring that in. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose color lookup. Now in here, we're going to choose load 3D LUT. Click on it, locate the one that we had just created, click on it and hit open. And there you have it applied. And by the way, if you don't want to follow along with this one, if you don't want to try the retouch for me color match, that's fine too. You can choose something else or you can apply a different adjustment. On top of that, let's say we want to apply a little bit of brightness. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. And we're going to make it a tad bit brighter, just like so. And you can stack up as much as you want. On top of it, let us go with selective color. And one of the best ways to modify the overall colors with selective color is choosing in the colors drop down neutrals. This gives the most impact. So now let us change the science. We're going to bring it a little bit to the left, magenta a bit to the right, or maybe to the left. You can play with it yellow of course to the right and black a bit to the right we're going to keep it a relative right here and for the whites let's add a bit of yellow okay let's say you like this you want to save it as an adjustment preset here's how you do it you select the first one hold the shift key select the last one all three of them are selected let's open up the adjustments panel and in here in the your preset section click on plus and again we're just going to name it picks mid day click on save and the thumbnail is saved with the image that you created it with by the way if i reapply it it looks amazing so why not so let's delete all of this and click on pix mid day of course it's going to apply that let's click on it one more time it's going to apply one more time and it really looks good and for the second time i think it's too much so let's decrease the opacity and slightly increase it to about 29 or 30% and this looks pretty good. Now, how do you export all of these presets? Click on the three dots as you hover over any preset. You'll see the three dots. Click on it. And in here, you have the option to export only this particular preset or export all the custom presets. Let's say I want to export all of them. Let's click on export all and we'll name it fix adjustment presets. Why not? Branding is important. Click on save. And if we locate that folder, you will see the PIX adjustment presets. It's a different format. Let's see what happens if we double click on it with Photoshop open. Let's do that. It says new presets have been successfully installed and we have double of them because we installed it again. Now, of course, you can directly import from the adjustments panel by clicking on the hamburger icon right there and choosing import presets. Choose this one, click on open. It does the same thing. Now, these adjustment presets do have a limitation and it's important that we understand them. But before we get into it, I do have a major announcement. I'm going to do a two day full day advanced Photoshop class at North Carolina for the Carolina Photo Expo. It's going to be two full exciting days of complete Photoshop coverage for photographers start to finish and beyond. Whether it's retouching, color grading, compositing, we're going to cover it all. And if you want to know what exactly will be covered on which day and how you can register, check the links in the description. It's all listed in the website and it will be super fun meeting you, connecting with you and answering your questions. Let's talk about the limitations of adjustment presets. The good thing is it does support blend modes 
it does support opacity however if you were to create let's say a color lookup adjustment and we're going to choose for this example edgy amber and i only wanted it in the bright areas in the highlights so if we double click on the right hand side of the layer and we take it away from the dark areas like this hold the alt key or the option key click on the slider to break it apart and take it all apart like this maybe this is an effect that you're going for hit okay and decrease the opacity to about 40%. Maybe you like this. Now keep in mind we have applied blend if right here. If we were to select all of these adjustment layers from top to bottom by holding the shift key and clicking on the last one. And now if we try to save it right here by clicking on plus and let's name it test one. Okay. And now we're going to delete all of this, drag it into the trash can. Let's apply test one. Once you do apply it, have a look. The blend if has gone away. It has completely eradicated it. If we double click on the right hand side of the layer, there is no change here that we had made early on. The other thing that I wish it could support was gradients in some way. Let's say for this example, we created a gradient adjustment and single click right here. For the right hand side, we're going to choose yellow, bright yellow, something like this. And for the left hand side, we choose red or orange color. Now for this area, we want the opacity to be 100. And for this one, we want the opacity to be zero. So it goes something like this, hit OK. And hit OK again, change the blend mode from normal to soft light. This looks fantastic. But even if you try to save it by selecting the first one, hold the shift key, select the last one and if you go to the adjustments panel, click on plus and let's name it test two. Now let's delete all of this. If we were to apply test two, it just ignored the gradient that we just created. And of course it does not support masking. And that's understandable because every image is different. Every resolution is different. So if we were to create a curves adjustment layer, we darken everything and then we select the mask choose gradient and create a gradient from white to black choose a radial gradient and do something like this whoops we did the opposite of what we wanted so let us change the gradient from black to white okay there you have it wonderful spotlight effect so i'm going to keep it right there select the first layer and then select the last layer by holding the shift key everything is selected and if we were to save this one as well as test three and let's delete all of this let's apply test three it completely ignored the mask too. So you have to keep those limitations in mind. Now, as I promised, I do have a gift for you. All of the adjustment presets that we just created, I think we created two of them and you can get them absolutely for free. Download them, check the link in the description for it. So just a quick recap, adjustment preset is just a preset of adjustment layers. You can just have one adjustment layer or stack a dozen of them. You can group them into a preset. The new feature here is that now you can create export, import, share your adjustment presets. The advantage again is that you can modify every aspect of that preset. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh -oh. lucky, lucky.